really is determined by, first of all, realizing that in any 24 hours you need about 30% of that, i.e. eight hours in some sort of mental, physical recovery like sleep. Um, but you need to be in a recovery state um, throughout those whole 24 hours to get good recovery. So it's not about principally how many hours you need to, to, to be in sleep to control blood pressure, but certainly uh, blood pressure will fluctuate quite significantly if you're not approaching how you sleep correctly. The lack of sleep is the quality of someone's sleep. It's not sort of all of these hours that you allocate to it, it's the quality you get from it. And there's so many factors, particularly in the modern world, anxiety, stress, mental well-being, uh, worrying about things, that all of those things add up and reduce the level of quality, which will also affect uh, blood pressure which is quite critical so while you're actually in a good recovery state prepared for it then your blood pressure will be under control will come down uh, in the opposite way if you're more anxious and stressed and worried about things I think uh, we all know as, as infants when our sleep is controlled that we go into these lovely restorative and rejuvenated stages called deep sleep uh, the non-REM and REM stages, but as we do get older, late teens and beyond that, uh, being able to achieve those non-REM and REM stages, the deeper sleep stages, becomes more difficult. Uh, you're only actually going to get around 25% in any period, whether it's 20 minutes or 8 hours, in those stages, so you can easily lose out on them. So that correlation between that process and blood pressure is probably on the increase. Napping is vital to the human being because it's part of a very natural recovery process called polyphasic sleeping. So you'd sleep shorter periods at night, you'd sleep midday and early evening. And these controlled recovery periods, i.e. naps, are vital to that process. So anybody who sleeps in a polyphasic way and uses napping, but define it, it's a mental recovery period, you don't have to be curled up asleep somewhere to do this process, is a vital way to actually improve the levels of your recovery and stop wasting valuable time sleeping without benefit. To ensure they get a good quality sleep, they need to learn about the circadian rhythms of the day. And that is a very simple process of the sun going around our planet, light and dark shifts, and how the human being reacts to that and how it affects absolutely everything that we do during the course of any 24 hours. The other one is we've all got a sleep characteristic, it's a little genetic twist, it's called a chronotype, and that means we're either morning type people or nighttime people. And just becoming aware of that, you can start to make little changes every day in what you do and why you do and when you do it, which will really affect that whole recovery process.